Models on the runway usually showcase modern fashion, but not often designs influenced by cave statues and rock art. These innovative costumes were inspired by the restoration of the frescoes in caves in the cliffs in the Chinese city of Donhuang. The fashion show was put on by the Beijing Institute of Fashion Technology, who spent three years designing the outfits. On a made, on fait défilé de costumes de Donhuang au Musée Guimet, et je pense c'est un très beau cadeau pour fêter la 60e année de l'anniversaire pour la relation entre la Chine et la France. The director of the museum, Yannick Lintz, said it was important to show off contemporary fashion in a place that celebrates the art of the past. She said her museum was at the heart of bilateral cultural links. 24 is China in Musée Guimet and next year and in the few years to come, uh, at least, uh, it will be Guimet in China. Dunhuang is an ancient Silk Road city in northwest China, and the Guimet Museum is the largest collector of Dunhuang artifacts in Europe. Angelina is a student in Beijing and also one of the models who took part in the show. Although this is only like a modeling work, I think this is like totally a role of cultural ambassador, I would say, because we kind of bring the 2D uh, cave art into 3D and to present like all the arts to more people and especially international, international audience. Culture and people-to-people -people exchanges are instrumental to this year of tourism between France and China. The two countries have been enjoying closer ties recently, especially after French President Macron's visit to China last year. And this year of tourism allows Paris and Beijing to deepen their cultural exchanges. France and China have points of alignment, such as on carbon neutrality and protecting biodiversity. There are also points of tension, as with any major powers. Culture and shared projects outside politics allow both sides to explore the positive aspects of their relationship. Ross Cullen, CGTN, Paris.